In 2001, Big Bird created a set of three Ryanair 737-200 models, which we have already reviewed. In 2003, they then created an additional aircraft model, which we will look at today. With that, hello and welcome to a new episode of Review, where we today will take a closer look at a Boeing 737-200 of Ryanair. At the front of the box, we have the Big Bird branding as well as the Jaguar branding and an image of the aircraft in real life, which unfortunately is rather pixelated and pretty much consists of two pixels. At the back side of the box, we then again find the Jaguar branding and the specification that it is a 737-200. Not the most inspiring box, but still way better than anything Happer offers us today. And here is the Boeing 737-200 in the special Jaguar livery of Ryanair. As mentioned, this aircraft model was created by Big Bird in 2003, so two years after Big Bird had created three other 737s of Ryanair. So let's see if they have improved anything on the aircraft model, or if it is just a copy-paste job from Big Bird. And as always, we start our tour around the aircraft model to determine what it actually has to offer with a look at the tail section, where we are on the vertical stabilizer, find the writing of Jack you are. On the fuselage we then have the flag of Ireland and the full registration code of the aircraft. When we then look at the very tail of the aircraft we can see there is a little bit of detailing around the APU exhaust although it pretty much disappears in the color scheme so Pickbird could definitely have been working a little bit more on that detail. Then at the front of the aircraft and across the fuselage we have the Jack you are of the Jack you are branding. Of course the entire livery is basically a depiction of of the Jaguar branding. And then we have this rather unique feature with Ryanair 737s that they do carry their own air stairs, which we find indicated here underneath the front cabin door with this rectangle. When we then look at the cockpit section, well, we find the classic window configuration of the 737 depicted here, as well as the window wipers that have been printed on, but no additional details here. What I, however, quite like is actually the cockpit shape. I know some people will say that the nose is a bit too pointy, but honestly, I don't mind. The engine cells have been kept in the same grey colour as the front of the fuselage and has the Ryanair branding as well as some safety markings. And here just a little side note to those Harper Wings fanboys that celebrate Harper for now adding such details to their models. Well, I mean, Big Bird did this in 2003 and even back in 2001. When it comes to the physical detailing, I think Big Bird has done a decent job considering how tiny these engines actually are in scale 500. But when we look into the engines from the front, we can see definitely it could have been better. From the engines, we can then move on to the wings, which we should definitely also take a closer look at, starting off with the top side, where we can see the different flap slats and spoilers have been carved out rather nicely. We do also have the markings for the emergency exit, as well as the full registration code of the aircraft, which we also find on the underside of the wings. For me, however, the best detail of the wings is actually the addition of the landing lights. Also, again here, a standard detail for Big Bird at the beginning of the 2000s. The landing gear is the standard landing gear that Big Bird used at the time for the 737-200s, and honestly speaking, I think it still works just fine. A lovely detail here as well is that at the front landing gear, they actually have added some printed details. And of course, again, as a standard. And then last but not least, we do also have the doors to the cargo compartments printed on here at the back of the aircraft, and here at the front of the aircraft. So there we have it, the Boeing 737-200 in the special Jaguar livery of Ryanair from Big Bird in scale 1 to 500. And what can we say about this aircraft model? It might not come as a surprise to you when I say that I actually quite like this aircraft model. Although it is a little bit confusing that the aircraft has a hole in the fuselage for a stand which was not included. But I did of course get it second hand, so who knows what was the case when it was brand new. But to answer the question from the beginning of the video, is this just a copy-paste job of the 2001 model? from Big Bird? And the answer is no. Big Bird actually added a few more details in the print. When we look here at the top side of the fuselage, we can see that they added a few safety markings across the aircraft, which just shows that Big Bird at the time also improved on their products.
Of course, given the fact that the aircraft as we see it here hasn't been in the skies for many, many years, at least not in this livery, this might not be everyone's cup of tea. But if you like classic airliners, then I would say this is pretty much one of the best ones you can get. It is seriously a solid aircraft model from Big Bird, and it is one that makes me wish that Big Bird would still make aircraft models today. Now, with that, we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video, then don't forget to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. And of course, if you are new around here, why not hit subscribe? That would be absolutely awesome. With that, I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.